Hello and welcome to my honest and I hope informative thoughts on the Durston X Mid 2. Now the X Mid 2 has pretty much taken the world by storm, but I always say in my videos there are gains in some areas and sacrifices in others. So according to Dan Durston, this tent has been designed for a number of factors. Simplicity, space, stormworthiness, and build quality. So definitely for me, the simplicity of a tent starts in the setup. And to be fair, I did find this tent very, very easy to set up. Uh, I'm using a, a footprint with it. And the footprint is just cut absolutely perfectly for the tent with all the little sort of red attachments in the right places. And I set the footprint down, put the inner kind of on top of that to sort of like line it up and make sure that I had it oriented correctly. And then staked out the, the fly sheet and that sort of rectangular sort of method that I tended to do. Now, I must admit, it does take a few goes because when you get one area tight, then another area maybe becomes a bit loose. But it's not, it's, it's not really an issue, uh, but definitely it just took me a little bit more time sort of setting that up. Just, I suppose, due to the asymmetric nature of the tent and popping the poles in here, you know, absolutely no problems at all. You know, really, really easy to do. So one of the things in regarding simplicity of this tent is that they kind of say, you know, you don't need to set your trekking poles at a set height. But you know what? If you have your trekking poles set at the right height, it just makes it quicker because you're not sort of adjusting it every, every time. Uh, and it sort of gives you a benchmark for which to go on. And then you can just extend the pole, you know, a little bit up or down. But anyway, once you've done that a couple of times, I mean, you're going to know and get a good feel for it. But I certainly find using the poles in the setup, you know, pretty simple. Now, regarding the simplicity areas, like, you know, setting up, you know, the doors, pulling back the doors, really, really easy to do. The magnet contact's very good. And then on the inside, it's just like a tie point sort of for the mesh. So, you know, that works really, really well as well. And also the fact that, you know, it does only require four pegs. And I mean, I have this set out with four pegs at the moment. And I have to admit, I do actually think it's quite secure. But obviously, there are lots of other pegging points for that. So the interior livable space in this tent, there's no doubt like it is excellent. You know, height-wise, if I move sort of in between the two poles, uh, you can't really see it on the camera, but I've got this much above my head and I'm six feet one. And you know, for general moving around, you know, I can sit well back in the tent and someone else could sit up. So the seated up room, you know, is, is really, really good. And lying down, I am going to do a full review when I'm actually out testing this in the field. But I mean, without, you know, having a mat or anything in here, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of space, you know, either side. So this is really, you know, a really good two-person tent. And here we're kind of looking at vestibule space. So right down into the corner on the one side and then right up towards the trekking pole on the other. So the space in the vestibules, you know, is absolutely fantastic. And some nice features on the inside. So we've got a pocket here and there's the same on the other door. And then you've actually got a pocket on the roof there, which is a pretty good idea. So I kind of do like my pockets in tents. So that's absolutely excellent. Uh, so that's like four pockets in this tent, which is great. If I bring my feet down to the, the bottom of the tent, you know, really good space, you know, around my head as, uh, at the sides and also height-wise. And then, you know, that's sitting up, moving you know, back in the tent. So, you know, volume in this tent because of this asymmetric pole design, you know, really, really, really impressive. So now I just down to um, build quality and there's no doubt the construction of a tent, you know, I haven't found any faults at all. And even in the, in the bag that it comes in, it just, it just immediately feels really, really good quality. Uh, all the stitching and things, you know, is very, very accurate. Um, and, you know, the way that it's set up, the tension here on the inner, you know, is, is really, really good. And as I said, you know, here's a seam here that I'm looking down and it's just, it's just perfectly stitched. And all the reinforcement points and all the reinforcement in the roof, you know, the quality is really, really good. It's using, I mean, pretty standard now, like YKK zippers. But also like you know i think it's got like dynamo on the zipper pulls which is nice and the outside dipper is like a dipper <laughs> zipper is an aqua guard zipper you know which is waterproof you know and that's a really really good attention to detail and quality aspect of the tent and certainly when i put out the footprint you know there's a lot of thoughts going into the footprint as well with the adjustments and the setup of it and you know it just feels really really good 
So just very, very briefly, one of the most important aspects of this video, a big, big, big thank you to Sam Black for lending me this tent. Uh, Sam hadn't even used the tent yet, and he was kind enough to contact me and say, look, do you want to borrow it for a review? I suppose to give something back to content creators like, like myself. And I really appreciate it because I have had a lot of people over the years just approach me and offer to lend me their tents. And all these reviews that I, that I do just would not be possible. So I really, really appreciate it, Sam. So thank you very much. Another area where this tent actually, I think, is potentially really, really good would be in ventilation. You know, so you've got a really decent sized vent here on this end and exactly the same on the other, on the other pole. So you've got really, really good cross flow of air across ventilation here. So at the start of this video, I mentioned um, gains in some areas for sacrifices in others. So with the isometric design here, there has been really, really big gains in the interior space and practicality of the tent. Absolutely no doubt about that. But my honest opinion, and it's only my opinion so far because I haven't tested the tent, I actually think that the stormworthiness aspect has possibly been sacrificed a little bit for the interior space. But that's kind of what always happens when, you know, by the laws of physics, when you sort of gain in one area, it's very hard not to lose a little bit in the other. So what I kind of mean is, if the wind, for example, is coming from this direction, from like behind the camera towards me, you know, there's a lot of panel here that, you know, is going to actually be catching the wind. Now, you do have a guy out point, but, you know, there's so much panel here that's going to catch the wind. There's an awful lot of stress, and it would just be... Over a long period of time, I just don't know how well that would do. But look, it's only it's only my opinion. Now, different people will have different concepts about what a storm actually is. I mean, for me, a, a storm is, you know, it's winds over 40 mile an hour. You know, it's windy if it's 30 mile an hour, but if it's over maybe 40 mile an hour, well, for me, that's a bit of a storm, but it will be different for everyone, and I totally get that. And there'll be a lot of people who will never need that particular aspect. But I just sort of feel... You know, the tents marketed as being really, really storm worthy. And just by my definition of a storm, for the, what I've experienced here in the UK, uh, I think that would potentially be the sort of Achilles heel, for want of a better word, of this tent, if you're going to be using it in UK stormy conditions on a relatively frequent basis. So what are my final thoughts on this tent? The space inside the tent is absolutely phenomenal. The ventilation is, is really, really good. The whole design and access to the tent and the way everything works in the tent is really, really good. And I'm still very, very mixed about the asymmetric design. Maybe it just takes a little bit of getting used to. I think the tent is simple in some respects, but a little complicated, you know, in, in others, just due to that asymmetric design and, and the setup. The setup now is fast, and certainly I think once you get familiar with the tent, it would be super fast and the tent is pretty secure with just four stakes and i think that's a pretty big advantage of this tent the build quality is excellent you know there's no doubt that it's really really well put together and all the stitching and all the seams are, are absolutely spot on and the choice of materials used is really really good for most people this tent will serve them really well i'm sure they'll get many 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 years of great use from it for me only question that I have, just based on my experience, is just a stormworthiness. And I think it's just because that's highlighted as a real strength of the tent that sort of draws my attention to it. If the manufacturers weren't saying, yeah, this is super stormworthy, um, then I probably I would probably I may not even comment on it. And I know different people's opinion of storms are different, but here in the UK, you know, I've already expressed what my opinion as a storm would be, and I just think it sacrifices the space and practicality aspects for a little drop in stormworthiness. So that's really about it. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, leave me a comment, you know, if you own this tent or you're thinking of buying this tent, and let me know your thoughts, and I'll always get back to you. So until next time.